everything there? Right. No, you saw the area. We're not going to waste mod. Darth <laughs> Vader, it is. Darth Vader? Oh, you want me to get out of range? <laughs> out of range. <laughs> I'm out of range. <laughs> no. Hello. Shit. Oh, shit. And you guys can't. And then I'm. <laughs> Man. I get signal here that's hardwired. <laughs> Sounds like Jedi's got Vince's internet. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. You see, we are live here. We are so live. Me, I'm, right I'm now. just going to grab my Hulk from over here and my Voltron over here. We're going to have a battle on my desk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate crossover. <laughs> <laughs> Does this uh, platform not give you like a starting soon screen? Uh, I I had it already on. <laughs> oh, we are live. Um, we're live. We are live. Live, 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 live. Smiley, what's going on? Uh, so you guys should be able to see everything in the chat. Uh, as Smiley just popped in. Um, there's no uh, no sound alerts, no channel point alerts or any of that stuff. Um, you guys can interact with the chat as well by typing in and all that other fun stuff. Holy crap. In fact, we can we also go. do this. We can also say, hey, look, Smiley's chat is on the screen covering uh, Vincent right now for me. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's covering me. Uh, hey, hey, what is going on? Uh, Vince, Vince you got you to gotta do this, Vince. Yeah, you got to do the yeah, clear over it. There you go. Clint, clear over it. <laughs> what's going on? Um, oh, there the it is. Look at that. Yeah. I got to hang on, hang on. I got to get oh, up here. I, yeah, hang on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There we go. Do another one for Clint. There we go. Hello, all from Clint. Hi, Clint. What's up? That's what they we're going around the world. Somebody's up early or up yeah. late. One or the other. Late. One of the others. Yeah. If 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 you start seeing Lynette pop in, that's stupidly early. That's uh... she was streaming. She yeah, was streaming earlier. Like yeah, she was, she was still streaming when I go got up. Yeah. Like I, said, I, like I said, I just shut down a stream five hours ago. I'm. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely. What is in the house? Hawks Rising's in the house. What's going on, you guys? Clint Flicker. Hey, Jedi Bandit's Saturday. in the house. Welcome, Jedi hey. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully everyone's well, Saturday is off to a good start. Free for woke up in time. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, wait. Welcome. He was up with me uh, streaming, too. So, well, He wasn't streaming, but I was, so. The dirty rats in the house. <laughs> All right. so we'll give it a couple more minutes for people to pop in, and then we'll just do the normal housekeeping crap. Smiley, we, we look so beautiful. There we go. Look at us. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I shaved my ass for this? What the hell? <laughs> what have I signed up for? No, that, that's for TikTok. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Wait you shaved? <laughs> Melomanix. Melomanx is in the house too. Uh, Diva Tequila. Melomanix. What's going on? Happy Saturday. What is up? Diva Tequila, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> How's it going? Oh. oh, I have a child coming. I hear it. One minute oh. after we went live, dad, dad come up. <laughs> I'm like, oh. get the duct tape. <laughs> Oh, we got a raid. Look at that. Thank you very no much. Time at all. Soap Dish, soap dish with soap. a raid. Soap, soap Dish came into my stream last night. Appreciate that, Soap Dish. Thank you so much. Yeah, Soap Dish is awesome. Right. We helped him get affiliate. I'm really happy with that. He's having a good yeah, old time over there playing Fallout 4, right? Well, that's what he was playing. I did a raid uh, this morning. I keep I keep wanting to say last night because it, I slept. You know, a little bit, but I did a raid uh, last night to, so I went to the Twitch court and I was like, well, let me see if anybody's, you know, put anything up that they're up already. Cause here it is. Like I said, it's nearly 6 AM for me. So it's gotta be, somebody's gotta be streaming. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was went in there and I'm looking and there's only one person that had put anything in at the time. Um, and I'm trying to find his name right here. Go JB wants to game. JB wants the game. And JB had put a link in his Twitch and Twitch cord about uh, wanting to or about jumping in in his stream on Destiny. So uh, I sent him over for I think I had four or five viewers at the time, uh, and he's he 
He's like, that's my first raid. And I, all I could think was, oh, I took your raginity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I took it from you. <laughs> Snatched it away. You're never going to get so, it back. So a little shout out to JB Wants to Game because, uh, hey, it had a great looking stream. Had a great looking setup. <laughs> and he was playing some Destiny. Although he downplays himself, he was doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. All right, um, we got a we got a bunch of people in here now. Uh, everybody, thank you for very much for popping in. This is Twitch Cord Podcast Day. Uh, we have uh, the awesome uh, Dirty Rat Gaming. We have the awesome Vincinerator, and of course our Hello. awesome Jedi Bandit in on the side there. Uh, we are here. We're here for a talk session with you guys. Hang out. Uh, we got some games lined up that we're going to talk about. We're going to show some videos and stuff, uh, uh, and go through all that stuff as well. We will have a streaming section where we will talk to you guys. Take questions and answers um, from the chat as well. Talking about streaming, anything, setups, all that type of stuff. Uh, we're just going to have some fun and, and go through this stuff. So, again, welcome everybody that's been tuning in. And, again, thank you for my co-hosts for having uh, to jump in with this as well. And uh, let's have some fun with this and uh, see where we end up. And don't forget, we are going to keep an eye on everybody that's in chat. Uh, we are going to randomly pick a streamer from the chat in today's stream and uh if you're interactive and hanging out and you are live uh we might raid you at the end of the stream so stay tuned for that as well um yeah welcome episode three officially episode three. Episode three, guys Woo! season one episode three we made it to episode three we did it now is it just well, we made it does, does any of you do any of you presenters here do y'all want to get like a total of like eight or nine people in here and be all like brady bunch like Look over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Okay. Do that. How are you doing over there, dirty right? What's up? Hey, 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 Jedi. Jedi. hey up there, Jedi. Oh hey, what's going on down there? Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, and no no mime shit, okay? Like none of us walking <laughs> <through> shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're all stuck in our own boxes right now. Yeah, yeah. Stay, stay, stay out of my square. Stay out Hollywood of my square. squares. My no no square. <laughs> square over here. No, oh, no, no, no. Hollywood squares. Now there's there's a, some dating there. And holy crap, that was oh, a, yeah. a while ago. Hollywood squares. Or um, what was that? Laughin. That other one. They did that as well, didn't they? Laughin. That comedy yeah. variety show. That one may be dating before me, and that's saying uh, something. Uh, that's like what Goldie, Goldie Hawn and, and uh, stuff like that. Back in, when Goldie Hawn was only like, what, 16 years old at the time? So, holy crap. Um, uniquely Average Gamers in the house. Jedi is going all yeah. welcome, welcome, welcome with everybody. We've got everybody yeah. in. Welcome Orange everybody Dax. in. Uh, Orange Docs, we do have something, uh, a video to show uh, for all of uh, Orange Docs fans, but I think it's only coming for PC and Switch, by the way. So, we don't have an official um, date Peace. on what we're talking about that one. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce yourselves. Go for it. Uh, Jedi, you're one, one of the new ones, so you can introduce yeah. yourself and uh, use the Force, man. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Jedi Bandit 306. I usually just go by Jedi. I let everybody call me Jedi. I get called it in real life, so you might as well call it me that. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I do a lot of different games. We do uh, green screen stuff like this. I like to do uh, voice mod stuff for you guys. So I've got all kinds of different rewards that you can come and make me say stuff in the Darth Vader voice. And I know a lot of people enjoy that portion of it. So if that's something you enjoy, definitely stop by my channel, uh, drop a follow. And uh, yeah, come yeah. by for a laugh. Awesome. Gary, the dirty rat himself. Uh Oh, he forgot. <laughs> yeah, he's done. Uh, hey, no, I'm, uh, hey, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I have a name that everybody wants to um, you know, not call me. So um, every time I go into people's streams, they're like, I'm not going to call you a rat. Why not? It's my name. Uh, yeah. it's actually, just to let everybody know, it's actually a part of my last name, and it's something I've gone by since I was like 10. So please, <laughs> feel free to call me rat. Uh, but no, I'm a, also a kind of a variety streamer, kind of focus more shooters and looters. Um but uh, maybe branching that a little bit, uh, trying some horror games soon. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, I don't have the voice modifications. I simply go, hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, uh, you want to talk movies, games, and anything else, please feel free. Come on by. Awesome. Oh, uh, by the way, definitely, he, uh, Dirty Rat also put some uh, interesting trivia uh, movie uh 
information in his titles. So definitely check those out. He's been doing those so you can guess what movies that he's talking about. Uh, also, if you see any rats in any games that you play, um, royalties go to him. All right, Ben, incinerator. <laughs> that's, that's I was going to say, that's why I don't play Plague Inc. Or, or not, what, what is it? Was it Plague? Plague? Yeah, I think that was the one. There was one with all the rats in it. Uh, yeah, so anybody that doesn't know me, I'm Vincinerator, I'm Variety Streamer. Uh, I By the way, he was streaming up. earlier today. I, I was streaming <laughs> earlier today. I <laughs> I wake up early to stream before my kids move and the rest of this house moves. So I typically stream Saturday, Sundays, uh, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, this morning I was playing Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I play a little bit of Sekiro. Uh, do, Sundays I try to do community days, um, doing marbles on stream, looking to branch out into like maybe a Jackbox or something. But uh, that's pretty much my schedule now, I'm trying to work in an evening stream um, <laughs> that's consistent at some point. So, uh, Vincent, we were also, just before you came on and joined us, uh, we were thinking of some Fall Guys Terminants uh, stream. Fall, fall With, Guys. If, if Fall yeah. Guys allows us to do custom lobbies, mm, if, if that happens, we can probably do some Twitch Cord uh, Fall Guys Terminants. And uh, right. like Dirty Rat can handle some of the night terminants. Uh, we can do some of the early day terminants and stuff like that. And uh, we'll see what happens for future right. of those. I think that's a great idea. I, I was just thinking about that game. I was watching uh, who was who was playing it. Reese Rex was playing it this morning. I'm like, oh yeah, Fall Guys. It's been a while since I played that. I haven't touched it since season one. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, everybody. I am Rhino Monster. Everybody knows who I am. You're on my channel. You know who was going on. Uh, I want to thank these awesome people for joining us uh, for this Twitch Guard podcast. And again, um, hopefully we'll keep this going each month. And uh, again, we are on season, uh, sorry, season one, episode three. So we got some games. We got some banter. We got some chatting for you guys. And uh, we're going to just uh, tease the shit out of each other. So it's all good. And again, uh, welcome to everybody that's been popping into the chat. I've been seeing the chat flip by real quickly and stuff like that. So that is absolutely awesome. Uh, big shout out to everybody that's in the chat, by the way. Thank you very much for popping in. And uh, for the couple of, oh, we had two raids so far. So thank you very much for those raids. And Smurfette, I see you. How you doing? What is going on, Smurfette? How's it going? Ryan's in the sky. Um, uniquely Average Gaming's in the house. Blazing Girls. Whew. Z Smith is in the house. Uh, Gavin Botts is in the house. Uh, we got a bunch of people. Orange Dax. Um, wow. Soap Dish. Uh, Photo Hunt. Welcome, you guys. Uh, we're sitting at 34 viewers right now. That is absolutely yeah. excellent. Uh, let's keep it up. Let's try to get over 40 and plus, and uh, let's see if we can raid somebody at the end of the podcast. Uh, but for now, we're going to do the game section. Uh, we got a bunch of games we're going to be talking about to you guys and all this, and I'm going to let uh, – who should we go first here? Um, I'm gonna, Jedi, I think we're going to grab yours first. Yeah, so, sure. Mine will uh, be pretty quick because they're still kind of early. Okay, so I'm going to bring up uh, your first one here, which is uh, your one one lonely outpost. So yeah. bring that stream here, and we're going to run that, and hopefully everybody can hear it. Is it coming through good on the stream, you guys? <laughs> Hope so, because I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, so, just check with everybody. <laughs> So yeah, this is a Stardew alike game. So if you've ever played that, it's going to be a sim style farming. Um, there's going to be a few different ways that you can play it. You can play it where you are a naturalistic person. So that's what it's showing here where you have like actual cows and different crops. Or you can also do uh, a synthetic route. So you see the other cows there are more robotic. So there's going to be two different ways to play this. There's going to be exploring. Uh, there's going to be a community where there's going to be over 20 characters they've confirmed so far. Build your community. I'm really excited for this. It's coming from Stardew Valley to seeing that you can like build a whole community. This is going to be great. I'm a little worried about the robotic uh, cows. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the robotic cows. Yeah, well, there's still more robots too. But yeah, I, I love the yeah. way this is looking so far. 
Look, looks how many how many people can play in a session? Is this multiplayer? So they haven't really said, but they're they've said that the Xbox and PlayStation support is going to be unlocked. Uh, unless it's in the trailer here, then I just missed it. But I didn't see anything about multiplayer yet. All right. Meet our interesting character. We're doing the space. Yeah, the space. So uh, what no, else? No, I'm gonna be honest. I've never, I've never played Stardew Valley. So. Okay. Me so neither. basically, it's uh, you start out taking over your grandfather's farm, and it's been basically gone downhill, and you gotta bring it back up. Is what the goal of the game is. So you spend your time clearing the field, making a farm, you know, getting animals, making your farm successful, doing events, getting married, all kinds of different things. It's a good time, and that you can actually do multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen you and Daniel Kim uh, playing it on occasion there. Yeah, it's, looks like a resource management, community building type of game. Yeah, and money money is the other big driving factor. But yeah, so I seen that they're saying that with the synthetic route, you're going to uh, alter the crops. And I think that's what they were showing there. They're going to sell for less, but they will have some interesting physical features is what they described as. <laughs> a third arm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm kind of curious to see what kind of mutant plants so that, and all that those bunch stuff. of bananas that you just grown, they're actually carrying themselves to the house. <laughs> yeah. This actual has some very real, real, real world implications, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> it has a new so, plug and you attach it to your actual garden outside. Like, I have no yeah. idea why this ear is growing on the back of my neck <laughs> all right so, yeah so that's one lonely outpost uh it's supposed to be coming out it's on steam you can wish list it right now they say late 2021 is what it says on there um and it has reached its kickstarter goal so it was eighty thousand, and they hit 120 so okay. because we reached those um so what was it 90k yeah 90k we unlocked boats and vehicles, so there will be bikes and boats. Um, 100K was the Xbox and PlayStation support. And then 110K, they unlocked the Robo Animal Customization. So that will be something we'll be able to look for when the game comes out. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Interesting. All right. are, so, are they offering anything for the Kickstarter, like early betas or anything like that? Um, I didn't look too much into those yet. I haven't. Uh, you can't back it anymore because it already reached its goal and it closed. reached its goal. Yeah. They closed it off already. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So there's a few games that are go doing the Kickstarter method of getting their funding and stuff like that. So it seems to be the way yeah. to do it now. Yeah. I mean, it's Shenmue become, Three. Become, I remember that whole Kickstarter thing as well to get it off the ground. It's become a very popularized way, especially for these smaller. Uh, production companies really to 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 not only get the game going but to get their name out there too yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah especially if they don't have a publisher to back them and stuff like that so right well yeah that's basically, another big thing basically the public becomes the publisher right so yeah exactly because then you know you actually get a feel for is this game actually going to work are people going to play it are people going to buy it kickstarter will kind of tell you that yeah people are willing to put their money and play your game yeah, yeah. all right Cool, 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 cool. All right, I'm gonna bring up the next one for you there. Uh, it's a short trailer. Um, think most, think some people have seen this one. If not, we're gonna go through it. Day before. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for the day before. This looks like it's gonna be good. I am curious to see how it all is gonna work out, but I am curious about this for sure. Now that this is running on PC, this because I remember this uh, being shown, and they did validate that this is purely yeah. PC shown. The, yeah. This is the one that looks like the Division uh, knockoff, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah, Division meets Daisy, if you want to think about it. Division, where you can actually search the cars and actually drive a car, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh. So this yeah. is going to be the PVE slash PVP style of game, from my understanding as well. Yeah. Yeah, searching yeah. the cars and stuff is, and then this inventory screen is very Daisy. If you've yeah. played it. Tell her everything's all right. There are 
card anyway. So it's going to be it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out and how many people are on a map. I don't think they've said anything about that yet. Yeah. They didn't give release dates or release windows for this one yet, did they? Not that I know of, no. Yeah, not that I know of. Let's we'll yeah. see what the old Steam store had to say. Our release date is coming soon. <laughs> 20, 2025. There you go. As confirmed now, on isn't Steam. This, and correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this the game that the original, uh, like the original top five devs of Division, the original Division actually created this company and are the ones that are actually creating this game? I believe so. I think, that's, I think this company left uh, the Ubisoft umbrella. Ooh. Yeah, uh, and that's what I was wondering because I mean that's why I think this game just has that such a strong division feel and look um, to its to its just movement and its and its uh, the graphics on screen like said division massive and division and when they created that original game the detail like they had with like those soda machines alone was just intense it was it's, it's great and it's what drew me into the game a lot really. Now the very yeah. first. Division uh, one um, show off of the game was completely uh, cinematic. By the way, eh? it wasn't it wasn't a true gameplay when they showed it. Mm. So this is showing the PvP aspect of it. He was looting the store, and now he's getting you know yeah. blasted. <laughs> and on top of that, there's zombies in the game too. Yeah, on top of it all, there's zombies that you have to worry about. But yeah, I, can, I see your Daisy uh, resemblance there. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like how kind of Outriders is with the menu with Destiny. Exactly. It's kind, of, yeah. it's kind of funny how the menus are starting to look very similar now. Yeah, I remember this oh. whole area in Destiny too. <laughs> and Destiny yeah, too. Destiny wants it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks I, fantastic. Oh, yeah, it looks good. And, I mean, he's still getting shot at by those players, right? That's the crazy thing. And he deals with a horde right here. Yeah, no No, what elevator closes that fast? Come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the supercharged tact elevator. Here's the, uh, here, Haven't now, you seen I've, this one? I've watched, I've watched some of this gameplay, but the only problem that I've had so far with the gameplay in the trailer here is when they scope. That looks like it needs com- to me a complete re- you know revamp here because when when it brings up that reticle and it's just a big circle on the screen, it's like really. I wish Division uh, used um, Ghost Recon Wildlands or Ghost Recon Breakpoints gun system, where it doesn't matter what gun you have, if you're scoping, you're looking down the barrel, and mm-hmm. that's only in Division. The only thing you can look down the barrel are snipers, right? So yeah. if you, if they had the same gun. Uh, functionality and mechanisms from the Ghost Recon series into the division, I would be even super happy with that. Yeah. And The Last of Us Part 2. Sorry. So that one there is uh, the day before. Um, I believe it's also hitting Stadia, that game as well, from my understanding. Um, we stadia? advertising stadia first for that well there you go i keep telling you stadia for the win stadia, that, makes, yeah. that makes me ask how old is this game it's in the negatives all right so that is uh the day's gone and uh, also One Lonely Outpost, uh, which is a Kickstarter, uh, a game that was cr- uh, funded by Kickstarter and it made its funding. So um, uh, there was a ri- the original release date for the, the first one, Jedi? Um, so they've got it as late 2021. Okay, so this year. So cool. Uh, yeah. The day before, I don't think we're going to see that until early next year. Coming soon. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't cyberpunk it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, nobody wants to cyberpunk it. it. Should never have been an adjective, but it is. It is. It is now. Yeah. Yeah. 
until the next game blows Cyberpunk out of the water with all the yeah. bugs at launch, which yeah, pretty much almost every Ubisoft game in 2020 had a bug in it, except for Immortal, the Immortals Phoenix Rising. I think that was the only one that didn't have any game-breaking bugs uh, for 2020, because Assassin's Creed Valhalla bugs galore when it came out, and a few other uh, Ubisoft games uh, crunched out as well. I think even that hyperspace that came out had issues when it came out. Yeah. And it didn't even pick up any speed at all either. Nope. I've seen few streamers do play it, but uh, it's like Rogue. It's like all the other ones that are out there, like Rogue Company and all those other ones. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know how long it will last, but it's all good. All good either way. Um, Vincinerator. Vincinerator. We got your Final Fantasy up here. Final the remake Fantasy. Of- the yeah. remake of Final Fantasy. The remake of the remake of the remake. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Exception. Why not? So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to playing this again. I really enjoyed playing through the uh, uh, the remake when it first launched. Um, but I mean, the, the visual enhancements to the PS5 version is, I guess, what's pulling me in. And all the, the, the new Yuffie content that is there as well. It does look quite I a mean, bit better. Wow. I mean, they're they're adding volumetric fog into here now. Um, they're changing all the textures and lighting. So, I mean, they're, they're saying right now that anybody that's got the base version on PS4 will get the free upgrade to uh, the PS5 version. Uh, the only thing that that's not going to give you is the, the UFI content. So that still will still have to be purchased. Also, uh, have- uh, the free the free game of the month version of this is not upgradable to the PS5 uh, version. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they stated that up front when it went free this month. It's still free this at the moment. Yes. So for anybody that hasn't grabbed it on the PlayStation Plus network, you know, go go do it. Go check it out. I mean, it is a fantastic game. Um, I mean, it is just the Midgar portion of the original Final Fantasy VII. But, I mean, the direction they're taking it is, you know, is fantastic. And I think the the ne- I think the next one's coming out at the end of this year. I'm not sure that they've actually announced when the part two is coming out. They're probably giving us this content. Oh, I've heard something about three par- parts as well. You know, they they are putting in settings here for performance and the uh, graphical modes as well. I mean, pretty. I think that's pretty much standard on any of the uh, PS4 Pro and PS5 games now. Photo mode. Photo mode. Oh, yeah. We definitely need the oh, photo mode. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see all the pictures from this game. Yeah, gonna they're all going to be of Luna or whatever her name is there. <laughs> Tifa? Tifa. Tifa. Yeah. Tifa. Tifa. It'll be of Yuffie. Oh, yeah. That's the extra That's the extra character and mission yeah. you get in this version. Yeah. So the, I guess the one thing to note here is this, this Yuffie DLC is only on PS5. Yes. I'm not sure why they made that decision. Uh, because of how hard it is to find these systems, but you know, unfortunately, that's that's what they're doing with it. We made so integrate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So remake to remake, but not to integrate. So yeah. See, I have a disc version of this, so I'm hmm. pretty sure the disc version will upgrade. But yeah, you would hope so. <laughs> The disc version does upgrade, but you need, we'll to, you need to put the disc version in all the time so the upgrade yeah. works. Yeah, that's, I guess. That's that's okay, because 99% of my games now are digital. So I think yeah, I still I have Ghost of Tsushima sitting in there from the last time I played it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if that gets a PlayStation 5 uh, upgrade, that would be... Like, in, like, the game is already insanely nice for Ghost yeah. of Tsushima. Yeah, I'd like to see what they could do with that as well on the PS5 hardware. Same with The Last of Us 2. All right. So uh, we do have another one uh, that we're going to put up. Uh, my apologies for all those Xbox people. <laughs> 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 uh, or PC. I, I, I don't even know what's coming out for, for Xbox in the next few months. Outriders. So, <laughs> yeah. this, oh, oh, right. That's right. Yeah. Probably another Halo um, somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Halo Infinite sometime. Sometime, maybe. 
so this one here is Kenya, uh, Bridge of Spirits. This one's kind of caught my attention. Uh, it's it's coming from a, I, I think this is a developer's actual first game. It's coming from Ember Labs. Um, so this is supposed to be a action adventure story driven game um, with exploration and fast paced combat. Uh, I do believe it's a PlayStation exclusive, PlayStation and PC. Uh, but again, it's kind of carrying that uh, similar art style that a lot of Sony exclusives uh, seem to have, much like Concrete Genie. You know, a smaller scale game. It's not a full price game. I think in Canada right now on the PlayStation Store, it's uh, pre ordered at $53. So, but there's a select yeah. edition for this game as well. Yeah, we, we need the deluxe editions, right? We need those digital art books, things we can't touch. I yeah, don't think I've ever a little over fifty these. bucks for the PS4, PS5 version, and I think it's another ten, fifteen dollars more for the deluxe. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, this one's this one's definitely piqued my interest. It looks, yeah, it looks, looks really good. good. And I mean, if it is the studio's first game, I mean, this is pretty impressive out of the gates for them. Almost kind of Fable vibes, hey? Yeah, the exactly. way the world, the yeah, you interact Fable with the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this one's launching in August uh, right now, as long as it doesn't get delayed. Everything's getting delayed. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm calling 2021 the year of you know playing the backlog or replaying you know games i've already played so yeah i mean there's a lot coming out that you know over the next few months but what a fox there you go yeah. nice yeah <laughs> oh, no, oh, that's oh, not good that's oh, not good oh. What's so I, I, I will be streaming. Harry, I think, what's going on? There, there, there's the fog. <laughs> huh. Looks nice. Yeah. Looks very, in fact, yeah. like you said, it looks very good compared to the fact that it's a, it's a first time, you know, company. So. Yeah, yeah. This, this I mean, yeah, you can check out their website, and it it appears this is the only game that they have on there. You know, their their history seems to be more doing, you know, creative stuff, um, you know, putting together videos, animated shorts. It says like for Coca Cola, uh, High Sense, MLB. So they've got nothing else on their website that's talking about any prior games they've developed. So. So this is coming to PS5, PS4, and uh, the PC on the Epic Game Store. Oh, so he's, he's going to get it too. There. On Epic? Oh, <laughs> why? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we have an Epicator? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't hate it, but it just never works. <laughs> never works. <laughs> Everything crashes on Epic. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, those are pretty interesting games uh, as well. There's also uh, Returnal uh, at the end of uh, April as well, which is a PlayStation uh, exclusive as well. Um, your Death Loop as well is another one that's coming out uh, that yeah. looks kind of interesting as well. Um, so yeah, some some pretty interesting uh, tidbits are coming out. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna sneak in and do a quick of mine there before we get the nice, good, juicy ones for uh, our dirty rat here. Um, so I'm gonna pop in and we're gonna show off this one that's coming for what is it? Is it PC and Switch? I think it is. Yep, uh, PC eventually, and probably the, the Xbox and PlayStation, but Switch right now. Okay. So, Orange Dax, Physics, this one's for you. Monster <laughs> Hunter, Nargakuga, Zinogre. Yes. If you've played Monster Hunter World, you're familiar with these guys. <laughs> yeah. Monster Hunter Rise. Isn't that the one that came out yesterday? Or yeah, it yes, just came out yeah. yesterday. Yes, yeah. it did. Yeah. 
I even thought about turning on my Switch. I was like, hmm, maybe I should buy it and stream it off the Switch. <laughs> and apparently they made some improvements to my favorite weapon, the hunting horn. So I'm looking forward to that. Or, or who knows? Maybe that infamous rumor of the Switch Pro coming. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I think they actually confirmed it. Uh, I don't know if it's confirmed, but it is highly rumored. I think I'm pretty sure because I said that the other day too in my stream and someone's like, no, they just said it like the day before or something. Uh, I don't, that's I interesting because I don't, I don't think Nintendo's officially announced it, but I mean, there, there is a high speculation that, you know, they're using NVIDIA chips, uh, leveraging the DLSS, yeah. uh, you know, deep, what is it? Deep sample learning. Yeah. So upscaling uh, to 4k. Yeah. And I mean, it, I mean, I'm sure you've used it. it. It it does do a fantastic job to take something and push something to 4K. But I mean, this game. I mean, it, I've never played any of the Monster Hunters, but I enjoy watching some streamers play this game because it is a huge oh, yeah. game. I mean, it's skill just base. the graphics behind it, and then yes, the skill base. I mean, like I I'll watch Physics Bound play it, and it's just a I'm like, how? What are you even doing? How do you know what you're doing here? It's yeah. there's so much going on on the screen at times. It's just intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've watched Orange Docs and Local Pescado do some uh, Monster Hunter sessions on stream and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And uh, like some of the monsters that they came across is like their characters are maybe like you know two inches high or whatever, and then the monsters like you know take up most of the screen and yeah. then chase it down as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The scale of some of these monsters is incredible. I've, I've never actually really played it either. I played Monster Hunter World Beta when it, when it dropped, but I've I've never gotten into it. it it's a lot of fun, honestly. But, if you can get a squad of people going for it, oh, it's so much fun. I really enjoy Monster Hunter and Monster Hunter Rise when it comes out on PC in 2022. I think there's guessing. I'm gonna be getting it. We'll be definitely be streaming it. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so my next one, uh, it's uh, kind of like a dear one to my heart. I, I've been playing every Odd World game that ever came out, even the Xbox One called Odd World Stranger. I even played that one. Um, so we are going to take a peek at that. This is the new Odd World Soulstrom, I believe, is the name of the com. And when was this one coming out? And it's soon it just got uh, it's just up in the playstation store now it's supposed to be released this year probably in the next couple of months would allow us to introduce the level to the player sort of shortening their conceptual distance but i'm i'm a big odd world fan i've i've been loving this character i even have the art books from these guys <laughs> oh really that's why evolving shadows is asking is it is it still abe <laughs> yes it is still abe it is still abe you are playing as abe in this one in fact there is abe right there right on the top i haven't played a side scroller in I'm not even going to say how many dozens of years. <laughs> uh, well, the last side scroll I just did was yesterday. Uh, I played that dark game. Yeah, uh, I streamed. And you did little nightmares as well. Yeah, hours. Hey, and you did little nightmares, not too. Yeah, long little ago. nightmares. Yeah, I did that one as well. Uh, oh, it's the first time this game's getting crafting, which is interesting. So. And so we kept it to what I would call crafting light, which was intended to widen the crafting range. light. Yeah. So in other words, Solve just the craft the simple things that you need in the game. For the yeah. And collecting that you have done. In this but the game, game looks game gorgeous. Like just screen, which essentially gives him a hide zone that he can place anywhere for a more. Ben Flecker says they thought they were given this for PS plus for April. That could be. Typically, be used at their it, it might be. I, I believe it could be. Yeah, because I heard yeah. some talk about that as well. Yeah, I know it's coming to PS Plus. They announced that I think at the last mm -hmm. Sony State of Play. Yeah. So possibly either releasing just be just before it's free, or it's releasing officially after it's free. Here, Abe finds his first follower. 
from the old trellis area. You'll notice in Soulstone we added what we call sleep poles, like a fire station where a sleep can now actually go between levels. In this case, one a sleep is down below. He normally wouldn't have a firing range on him, but in oh, he can climb now. Oh, cool. Attention by speaking to this follower. Oh, you start to climb the pole. Got killed, Caden. Comes dead. Uh, he just got <laughs> kicked to death. <laughs> there are highly frequent degree yeah. of checkpoints. When Abe dies, he is born pretty close to the problem that whacked him. So now we actually approach the problem again, but this time use the stealth view. Yeah, definitely oh, it looks interesting. I now. also noticed that we added uh, another dimension to Abe's stealth ability. <laughs> Many times you're stealthing around, his game speak will also be whispered. So you can game speak other characters in stealth mode, but you're going to have to retain yourself at sneaking pace. So, mm -hmm. okay. Hmm. Oh, I've killed a lot of the Modokans when I was playing the original games. Like, you start off with like a thousand of them or something like that. I ended up with maybe 80 of them left at the end of the game. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, so, so it's kind of like Lemmings in a style, hey, where you yeah. gotta like rescue everyone. Yeah. God, I haven't heard that name in forever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> who, who remembers Lemmings in the chat? Give me a Lemmings if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Le Lemmings and Leisure Suit Larry. Those were my... Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Of course. They, they made a six for that one. <laughs> they made a Leisure Suit Larry game not too long ago. Yeah. One. They, yeah. It's amazing. They have like 30 of them. <laughs> 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 like, how did that not get canceled yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here you go. So I'll just jump to the end. So that is the official release. Oh, there April we go. Six. Okay, so yeah, it is is part of the PS Plus for April. Yeah, look Between at the lemming. April six and May third uh, for the place okay. uh, for the PS Plus at no uh, yeah. and pre purchase Epic Game Store uh, now and all that. So yeah. uh, if you are an Abe's fan, go nuts because I know I yeah. will be. Uh, I'll be streaming this and probably doing a lot of raging when I'm doing this because yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. like some of the oh. traps in this game are hilarious. Like it's just yeah. like you're just gonna get oh. mobbed. Oh, Evolving like, Shadows has mentioned King's Quest. King's oh, there's another King, old one. Yes. Right? Yes. Lee's Quest oh, yeah. is yes. another one. Yes, yes. My, my wife, that is my wife's favorite all-time game, followed closely by Resident Evil 5. But yes, King's Quest was a classic. I see that Oddworld yeah. is also going to Epic as well. Yep. Yeah. Your favorite game store. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> now it is. All of a sudden. <laughs> Everything I want is there. <laughs> Everything I want is there. There we go. Yeah. All right. So my next one is an RPG. It's a, a kind of different style of RPG as well. So this is called Disco Ecelium, the final cut. Nice. Now, this was only released on PC up to this point, wasn't it? Yes. And this is apparently coming out at the end of this month. Yeah. And it's coming to what platforms was it? Uh, I think all of them. Join is the PlayStation 5 version. So. so PS4, PS5, I believe, is getting it. Yeah. Disco Elysium here. It's uh, releasing on PS4, PS5, PC, obviously, Stadia, and iPhone on March 30th. So I better go and check Epic Games is what you're telling me? <laughs> Maybe. But we'll see. It's everywhere else. I'm surprised. This will be the one that Epic doesn't have. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Epic. You're not getting it. Uh, also, as of, uh, I believe, as of either yesterday or today, um, I have I or have already bought it. I've already downloaded. It's already on my machine. Uh, I may be streaming it later today or uh, in in the very near future. Um, but uh, we got it. We are back. We are back yeah. with the original Tony Hawk. You guys. I hope I can nice. be Scooter Man. <laughs> Come on, where's Skate or Die? Yeah. Skate, that's right. Um, yeah, Skate or Die. There was that one. Or, weren't they making a remake yeah. of that as well? Supposedly, yes. Or, or is it just Skate? No, Skate is different. There's, I think there was Skate Four rumored, maybe, because they did three, and three did really well. Yeah. Now the only all thing right. is, as I mentioned, I'm gonna have to mute all the music in this game so I don't get copyrighted, flagged. <laughs> so, 
Soulstraw's asking for a Tony Hawk VR. No, thank you. <laughs> VR. VR. Oh, that I would be awesome. That, that would, would be, be awesome. I, I would like to see a steep VR. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Wow. Snowboarding Ooh. instead of skateboarding. Snowboarding, wingsuits, you know, all that fun stuff. So Melly Minx was saying that uh, the last game was banned in his country in Australia. The disco was it was banned. Oh, disco! Yeah. Really? I think that was Elysium. the game he was talking about. Yeah, Elysium. This game is banned in Australia. Really, dude? Why? Why is that? that? He said, uh, "Don't know, but I read they are banning it." Hmm. Really? I wonder why. Oh, well, let's, let's see if we can find out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater One and Two combined in one game, basically, uh, completely remastered for the PS4 and the PS5. Uh, what you probably saw in the trailer was the PS5 version uh, of the graphics and stuff. Um, definitely, it's got all that cool, uh, all the cool music from the original games. It should be still in it and all that. So if you want to enjoy the the tr- soundtrack. It is excellent. It's got a lot of variety of cool things. And I can't wait to start doing this. I broke a few controller sticks playing this game a few times, trying to get all the combos done. <laughs> I might have to get some extra controller sticks just in case. <laughs> I'll probably destroy the nuts out of these guys. Um, also, just a, a heads up. Uh, and again, we were talking about this just a little earlier in the um, the this podcast about doing some twitch court community um terminates with some other games for other people and stuff like that um we know there's marbles out there we know there's uh jackbox uh out there uh we also know there's um uh what's that other one there um do, 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 do. among us there's among that one as well yeah. but uh fall guys has a new season <laughs> So we were also thinking maybe doing some Fall Guy terminates with all the Twitch Court members. If you think that's pretty cool, let us know in the chat. And uh, we could set up some uh, some interesting Fall Guys Twitch Court uh, twi- uh, terminates. Twi- twi- minutes. Twi- tournaments. 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 Whatever it is. So, so I don't know. Does anybody know if this is a, a cross-play game? This... I've only ever played it on the PlayStation platform. But I know uh, yeah. it's on Steam as well. And speaking of Fall Guys, it is. So speaking of Fall Guys, that is coming out to other platforms uh, very soon, I do believe. Uh, actually, no, they haven't given a date. It's Q2. But Q2. it is coming to Switch and Xbox. Yeah, so. yeah, this game will be perfect for Switch. Yeah, so I can hear the raging already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I just double checked. Crossplay is in Fall Guys, so and they just released okay. that actually in January 2021. So, I think probably their season, their previous season, and this coming season will be crossplay compatible. There you go. Awesome. Nice. So we can probably set up some uh, interesting Twitch Cord uh, members um, Fall Guy tournaments. Uh, definitely, if we can, if if it allows us to do, do some custom lobbies, that would be even better, right? So let me rephrase. Yeah. They are actually mm-hmm. I had to open the article because it clipped it. The article actually mm-hmm. says that crossplay is in the Fall Guys future. Oh, in the future. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's on the roadmap. It's on the roadmap. There we well, go. We, we could always do a, uh, a tournament for the Xbox players, tournament for the PC, PC oh, yeah. players, and a tournament yeah. for the PS players. Yeah. But then when yeah. they do roll it into a cross-play format, the tournament leaders, tournament winners can battle Royale. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. There we go. Yeah. That would be something fun to do. Uh, Solstra, yeah, it would be fun. Yeah, Solstra will be there. And he will have the, the, the best quotes in the whole every day, man. Like, I'm, I go to Soul Straw to get my quote of the day, and I'm going to be putting that in my stream every day. <laughs> I'm just going to point out, for, based on what Soul Straw and Clint, Flick, uh, Clint Flicker were talking about, the uh, uh, Fall Guys if, in VR. Holy crap, that would be if, uh, <laughs> if Tony Hawk. If Tony Hawk needs a VR sponsor, I'm sure your local community hospital would be happy to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Saint, the Saint Mary's Hospital for whatever has now got 800 new <laughs> patients. Right. For skateboarding right. incidents indoors with the VR system up their ass, <laughs> we've had a uh, we've had an, a a uh, massive uh, increase in uh, skateboard uh, injuries, uh, but they're all indoors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 
Yeah, I used to I used to head down to Reading, Pennsylvania for the big indoor skate park, outdoor skate park, uh, BMX mountain bike training facility there to go train uh, other extreme cyclists there and the ramps and everything. I used to go down there and spend like two weeks at a time training people uh, down in Reading, Pennsylvania. So yeah, I've seen a, seen some interesting skateboarder uh, injuries and stuff like that. <laughs> like, holy crap, man! It's just a piece of wood. How did you get it lodged that far up your butt? <laughs> it's like. Holy smoke. I don't ever want to know the answer to that question. No, no, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, never, <laughs> never in my life do I want to know no. the answer to that question. Uh, all right. So that's a bunch of cool stuff that's coming out. Uh, we got the, I guess, the best for last for uh, the Dirty Rat, because uh, we have a few different classes to talk about, by the way. Um, let me uh, do, 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 do. We'll do the. Do, 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 do. Okay. So. We'll put that one there, um, that one there, and that's the ranger. And we'll do the Mr. Glass. Okay, the evolving so. Shadows is trying to do his ollies again, but uh, his ollies, yeah. Not well. <laughs> and, yeah, I tried to do all, yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> careful, careful how you do your kick flips there, Shadows. Careful, careful, careful. Careful yeah, on the yeah. ollie, careful on the ollie that the uh, the skateboard doesn't end up stuck in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing a grind off. He's doing a grind off his uh, the sixty five inch TV. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's still funny. I I did watch Pushy Jack play some VR with his other uh, other buddies there. I think he was doing uh, one of the. Uh, Call of Duty isk type games in VR. Um, he did trip over the couch. It was pretty funny. We did we did see him trip and he went down. It was pretty funny. Um, so he's now moved his VR every into an empty room. So he's got no furniture to worry about this time around. Um, Dixie Dog was playing some Half Life uh, on uh, VR uh, a few days ago. Uh, looked absolutely fun. He was having a blast in it. Um, yeah. But it was funny because there was a few times that when he was talking to chat, all we saw was the back of him because he's facing the other way because he's trying to walk yeah. up, walk down the alleyway and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So that, pretty- yeah, that, that. That's why I always question for VR. Do you really need a camera for something like a Half-Life? Because, I mean, <laughs> you can't see your screens. Yeah. You know, so, chances are someone's going to be looking at your back or or whatever. Pretty much. All right. So our next one up is a biggie because we got four separate classes we are going to show. Uh, we are going to start with your brawler, uh, then your uh, hunter, then your ranger, and then the last newest one, the mystique. So we're going to pop that up on the screen. And this is Hood, Outlaws and Legends. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew Willems, game director on Hood, Outlaws and Legends. So the brawler class was your, is in this game is going to be your tank class, and literally, as you see, he's carrying his main weapon, a huge hammer. Good night. <laughs> oh, yes, right in the butt. In the good old solar plexus here next. <laughs> Oh, so this does look good. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the, the class, I didn't know about the class changes, like the fact that you can, the leveling up in this game, you can uh, get different gear, uh, different weapons, different setups, and then, of course, you have a, a kind of a limited uh, specializations, if you will, so far as what they've shown, but they are pretty direct is what they are because like I said, this is a tank class. Your specializations are not going to be uh, massive as far as their opportunities. So. so other than wave your arms like a chicken? <laughs> exactly. And Mel- Melo does have a good point in chat here. Just the, the price of hood is very reasonable. I think it's coming in at 29 uh, to start under $30. Oh, really? Is, oh, is it releasing early point. access? or They already did a beta back in like November. Uh, so the game is coming out in May, uh, in the middle to middle end of May, I think the 21st or something like that. Um, I don't know if they're doing an early access, but I wouldn't doubt it yeah, as so far as any pre-orders. In the PlayStation Store right now for in Canada, it's 40 bucks. Okay. Okay. I thought they, yeah, yeah, I'll have to double yeah. check mine here. I thought it said 39 or 29, but it may be 39. Yeah, 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 right. here, and then there's the year one edition as well. Year one edition is 69.99. Okay. That's on Steam? 
That's on the the PlayStation uh, or oh. for in Canada. Yeah, in Canada. I don't. I haven't double checked on the game being available on Steam. I think it is. I think it's also yeah. available on Epic. <laughs> <laughs> on Epic. On Epic. Yeah. It it is on Steam. Yeah, thirty nine ninety nine Canadian for the base and then year one is sixty four. Yeah. So if anybody's not up to speed on it, there, it is a PvP or PvP slash E uh game. So uh, again, that first class being the tank type, uh you'll basically run a four man squad against other four man squads or four man squads and the additional enemies in the game as well. Um, so that, yeah, that was the tank type for the class, uh, for the class builds. And then the, you said, I think you were going to do yeah, we hunter. Got, uh, yeah, we got, uh, do, 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 hunter. hunters next right now. The hunter being of course the bowman, the range DPS. Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, I threw this on the wish list because if it ever goes on sale, it should be a pretty good deal on it. I'm here to show off one of our playable yeah, it'll probably, it, you know, may go on sale pretty quickly depending on how well it does. I, I mean, I hadn't heard of this game until... What was it last week when I was streaming? Thugs popped into the stream and saying he was really looking forward to this game. Oh, my apologies. I keep thinking, I keep calling the hunter the range. The hunter is the melee. You see how it's got this, it's very rogue style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, very kind of Assassin's Creed hand blades, if you will, there. Or hand, it's, a, it's a hand crossbow, sorry. Uh, oh, automatic as well. A little three, a little three arrow shot there. Yeah, yeah. A little, yeah, little, little burst. Little Assassin's Creed action going on here and there. Well, my only concern would be this: is how the game feels when you're playing it. So far, sure it looks good, but how does the actual mechanics feel, right? Because uh, right. if it's solid, then this is going to be a, like a, a, a interesting, really good hit for the price that it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, graphically, it looks great. Gameplay, it gameplay looks great, but the feel will be the question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It covers her in a near invisible sheen and makes her completely undetectable. And this was this is probably one that I am going to have on day one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's going to go to Dirty Rat Gaming and watch it when it releases. We'll be there. We'll be there. Well, you, you just have to stream a little bit know. earlier, Dirty Rat. Uh, yeah right. <laughs> you, well, you're, you're typically on. going live when I go to bed. But then again, I'm still playing and I'm still live when you wake up. So exactly, <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But I get the same complaints as well. I'm I'm streaming when everybody's still sleeping because it's too early. So right, yeah. right. I I saw the notification on my phone this morning. I look, it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, uh. <laughs> 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 so the ranger here is your actual range, I believe. Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Williams, game director. Yeah, here we go. This is get this gets intense for a ranged mail for a ranged uh, damage here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 headshots galore here, and they're Legolas right here. It so really far, does. The, so far, the hunter and the ranger would be whatever classes I would pick. So far. Oh well, yeah, I mean it looks good, but like, but like you said, Rhino, it's, it'd be interesting to see what the mechanics are like. Yeah, that's that's my only concern is if the game plays well and feels well, I, I, I'll definitely try it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I'm so, going to assume there's no story-driven component here. That's just all you know, PVE, so- PVP. And the PvP and PvE, or PvP and the PvPVE aspects of it all are essentially, it's a very tact, tactful game. Like you have to develop a plan of attack to attacking one of these castles and getting the, the essentially getting the, the rewards here for attacking it. You are literally trying to steal the, the money from the, the rich and famous here, if you, if you will. Uh, so you're playing a Robin Hood style, you know, Friar Tuck and, and, uh, Little John and Robin Hood is literally this class, the the uh, the hunt or the uh, uh, ranger class, and you are trying to get to the the chest and steal the chest and get the chest out to your starting point or to an extraction point before anybody else. And so that's the kind of that environmental aspect, if you will. But you have to fight either just you and against an opposing four man team. Or you and against the fo- four man teams as well as the castle guards. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. And the final, the newest class that got shown, uh, the and Mystic. Here, and here's the one that is the, the funny. This is, the, this is mm -hmm. as you said, the healing class, which is, it's also a CC mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. And it's insane still mm -hmm. how this, how this class fights. <laughs> Did you see they have a flail? Yeah, the flail. Re so Evolving Shadows is asking a release date. I do believe that's May 10th. May, yeah. Uh, well, May 7th, I think. They may have, they may be having, I heard originally it was like May 21. I think they've moved it up and it's, yeah, it's, I think it's a first I in, the store, in the PlayStation Store, uh, May 7th. May 7th on okay. PlayStation yeah. Store? So we're a little over a month away. Yeah, and Steam, we got... 10th of May. Uh, see, that, that that's tough. I mean, May... I'm going to be playing Resident Evil Village. There's no way I'm playing Hood. <laughs> There's no way. And then April I mean, 30th is Returnal. I got, I got what, seven Returnal, days to finish yeah. Returnal before Resident Evil Village comes out. That's not going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't go Sekiro on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope not. I'm, I'm still scarred from that experience. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, Evolving Shadows. I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to this one too. This is like I said, this is a healer CC class that literally still crushes heads. Yeah, this one looks like the most fun to play. I think just the the stuff you get to do in the flail that's just awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for, for me, you know, look, the Dirty Rat is not just a name, it's a lifestyle, and I play a very rogue life game, so it's all about the assassinations for me, but uh, but the Mystic does look like a fun play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the, the, the one thing that, this, that these trailers just really doesn't show is that the game is you, it's a plan of attack. You have to create a plan of attack and go in and, and to win the game. You, it's not a, um, a call of duty style, rush in fight, you know, die and respawn and go it again. It's, you literally have to work this out. And it's, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how well this plays out in a, uh, uh, in a format where you're pugging a group together because you're going to get decimated by a, a four man team that's communicating. Or, yeah, you're gonna have to watch for people running into the group before you actually get set up. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is there friendly fire in this game? Can we? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it, but uh, yeah, maybe sometimes if we catch a Leroy, I think we need to. I think we need to have some some friendly fire. <laughs> Kick him from the party just to kill him, and then invite him back. <laughs> have you learned? No, die again. No, die again. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I've had that yeah, a few times in Destiny 2, trying to, when they asked me, oh, I need some help in Destiny 2. Sure, I'm jumped in with them. And they're like, okay, this is the hard part I, I always have a problem with. Okay, well, let's let's do this. Let's set up. Let's get ready for it. He's already halfway in the middle of the room dead. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I know why it's too hard for you, dude. And like, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> well, you. I mean, I think you all kind of got uh, an introduction to me at one point whenever you first started coming around to my Facebook streams. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's not mention this. Uh, when I was uh, up at like still Ooh, seven, <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning after running for like I think twelve hours or something like that, just yeah. saying screw it in division. I was just like I wouldn't even try to plan anything. I'm just like I'm just going in and shoot and see what happens. And yeah, <laughs> free for gaming and I were just, just having a blast, just just <laughs> killing ourselves and our brain cells. I think there was a, I think there was a lot of drinking involved in that one too. And yet I don't. And yet I don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Strange. Right. Uh, okay, we got one more to show. There we go. Uh oh. And this one is. New uh, world. I think, I think it's set for an August release right now, but we'll see if it gets cyberpunked. Yeah, we'll, cyberpunk. We'll see. It's already been delayed a few times. Right. Right. Um, and it's the Amazon's foray into the MMO. Uh, and uh, it's it really just an amazingly beautiful looking game. Mm -hmm. And by the sounds of it, this right. will be another PVEVP again. There's it's going to have an aspect of that. It, you can play in a PVE format. It will have a PVPVE and a PVP format as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
to its corruption. Now, now, where did they first show this game off? Was it at one of the big gaming events? Um, I know I've seen I, this before. I don't know that they did. I, I they yeah. It's, I think uh, tw uh, 2019 they actually announced it with a little bit of uh, uh, screenplay, and I think that's what you just saw was the beginning of this trailer where they had the animals. I think is all they had at the time, and mm -hmm. now they're actually developing a bit more gameplay cinematic here, but. Uh, but yeah, this is, I think it's a six or seven years that it's been in development and, uh, they're finally, I think they're finally getting close to the release. Ooh, hello. Here. I was looking, so look, it looks like it was first announced in 2016 at TwitchCon. Oh, now there's, oh, okay. yeah. See, so yeah. they originally said May 2020 and they've already pushed it back. <laughs> like, yeah. So, yeah, so it's yeah. been in development already for, pushed it back for quite a like while. Four or five times. They've yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it is, uh, if, if it had been released last year, it would have been, instead of we were saying it's a cyberpunk issue, it's a, it'd be a new world issue. So, so they have delayed that quite significantly. Uh, but definitely looking forward to that one, uh, hopefully later this year. Yeah. So there's also, um, D and D was it D and D Alliance as well as being released as well, which is another, um, Alliance. Uh, Dungeon and Dragons style of game, but more semi open world or whatever it is, I believe. Uh, where I think you're running a group of four, I think. Yep. And of yep, course, indeed. That, of course, you also have Diablo 4 coming. Uh, yeah. Diablo 2 Resurrect, which is they took the 2D version of Diablo 2 and they made it into 3D. And it's pretty impressive on how they did that because I watched the behind the story on that one. So that was pretty impressive of them uh, remaking uh, Diablo 2 with a, a 3D look to it as well. Um, Diablo 4, uh, Gary, uh, Dirty Red, uh, I'm with you. The Rogue class, I can't wait. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I, it's, it's a lifestyle, and I'm going to live it. I, lo I love that Rogue class. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely. It looks good. Like, like I said, I mean, just my my whole plan is to play that rogue class until I, my fingers bleed because it is. I, I am going to just absolutely enjoy the the tar out of that and just 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 wrecking people with everything that a rogue can do. Looking forward to that one. All right. Yeah. Um, so that's the gist of a bunch of games that we just went through and we all did a nice, good live reaction because some of us first time seeing those games and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. There are a ton of games coming, by the way, you guys. There's a ton. Yeah, there, of there's a ton of them. I, I guess I sh I sh we should note here that you know anybody that's on the Switch and into Mario 35 and Super Mario 3 All Stars, yeah. Yeah. get them before the end of the month because they're gone forever. Exactly. According to Nintendo, 30, it's part of that oh. 35th anniversary, isn't it? Right. It is. Yeah, and I'm. I mean, <laughs> classic Nintendo to pull things away from. From Take the audience, out, yeah. they, they bring it out of the vault and go, "Hey, here it is," and then they put it back in the vault. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, 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 I purposely didn't, didn't touch Mario Thirty Five because it was going away. I, you know, I played it here and there. It's fun, but it's like I'm not getting into it because it's gone. So again, yeah. uh, a bunch of other games coming up for the Xbox side as well as PC and all that. Definitely tune into your favorite stores of whatever favorite platform you guys are playing on and check out the cool stuff that's coming out. I know PlayStation is also having uh, ten extra games for free uh popping out starting now between until the end of may i believe and i think yeah. the original horizon zero dawn is going to be free as well uh during that time period to be able to play that uh which is another sequel that i can't wait to get my hands on when that comes out um that is pretty cool. Um, so now we are going to segue into more of the streaming side of things. And uh, we are going to take a bunch of questions as well during this segment as well uh, to talk to you guys in the chat about anything about streaming or other game questions or anything like that. Feel free to drop it in. Uh, we will pre periodically grab a question here and there. Um, I am going to start off with one because it was posted uh, for the event, uh, which is a pretty good one. And it's also kind of an interesting one because um, it could be any type of answer for that, but I'm going to uh, say it again uh, from Callum Purchase. Uh, what, advi what advice do you have for small streamers trying to balance out streaming, networking, and everyday life? So 
it's a chat. Go nuts. Uh, yeah. If you well, want to pop out any advice, any ideals, whatever, anybody in chat that wants to answer that as well, feel free. Uh, but that I, is a I wanna, yeah. <laughs> I want to kind of throw out one thing, and it's something that I kind of took to heart um, starting out, is don't call yourself a small streamer. Yeah. I mean, just, just because you may have you a, a streamer. <laughs> yeah, you're a streamer. You, you a streamer. Just take, streamer. take, take off creator. this negative connotation. Yeah. Content creator, streamer, just remove that from your mindset because it doesn't matter. You you could be you could be quote unquote small today because your viewers are only two or three or five or whatever, and then tomorrow you could be sitting with thirty eight or three hundred and eighty or whatever the number becomes. You never know. Something grabs on, content grabs on. But look, as far as for me, look, I, and I said I would go last because this is going to be controversial. <laughs> I don't have kids, so all of this is mine. I, yeah, you yeah. Know, life yeah. is life is what I want. I, I work at home. I literally turn. I don't even turn the computer off. I literally turn and close down work, load up games. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so the work life balance is kind of lost on me because it is it is that easy, unfortunately for everybody else it's that easy for me um so uh, you know it's it's a hard question to ask but it literally is just about like anything else that that i can point at it is about your schedule schedule your your day don't i also say this because uh, just listening to multiple if you want to call them large streamers those streamers that have thousands of viewers that will tell you don't do seven eight ten twelve hour streams do four five six hour streams at most, keep it to two or three if that's your schedule. Know your schedule, yeah. make your schedule, and then live by that schedule. So if you only do two or three hours, make the most of those two or three hours. But also, yeah. you don't have to do it every day. Stream four or five times a week at most. Use your other days yeah. to push your content and make yourself a bigger community because it's not yeah. a small stream in a small community. It's yeah. a growing community. Exactly. Yeah, right. That's exactly. right. And, and, and don't let those numbers bother you as much as I know at the very beginning stages, yeah. oh, I lost this or I lost that, or I'm not getting this. Yeah. Not getting that. It, followers, community growth and uh, uh, um, viewership and all that, that comes and goes depending on the day, depending on what you're streaming. It's all good either way. Just have fun with it. Try to stay stress free about it. Um, yeah. And take a break. Definitely take breaks. So if you find you're getting stressed out about all this, uh, trying to juggle uh, adulting or the the work life or whatever you need to do and stuff like that uh, the, to do everything and streaming and everyday stuff, take a bit of a break. Go get yeah, some fresh yeah. air. Hang out. Do watch some Netflix or something like that. Then come back with your batteries recharged and uh, uh, go nuts and see what happens and, and, yeah. and uh, all that yeah. stuff. But uh, yeah. don't stress out. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's tough. I don't think there's any real simple answer to that. No, there isn't. It's, no. uh, you know, you do what you can, you support where you can. And you know, the time that you do put into it, make account. I mean, I mean, for me, half the time I'm sitting here, you know, with a bunch of tabs open, you know, lurking in a lot of people's streams, I'll have an earbud in on my phone, I might be helping mod somebody's stream because I'm a mod on a few in a few different communities, you know, and you know, kind of hopping here and there. But you know, it, it does, it does take a toll if, you know, you know, you got other obligations and a family to take care of. So, and I mean, during the day I'm, I'm working. So a lot of times I'm just opening up a tab and saying, Hey, I'm here work lurking, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, hope, hope that makes a difference and hope that Me matters too. to people. Right. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> in fact, in I, mean, fact that, that, I think we're going to need to uh, actually generate a proper incinerator emote for work lurk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think he's yeah. got that one down pat because I've had him popping in. I'm stuck in a meeting, work lurk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes and I'm two and a half hours right out. So I'm like, a freaking meeting. <laughs> yeah. Part of it is like, do I say that I'm work lurking? Because they're on the other end, they're going to try to ask how I'm doing, how my day is. I'm like, I got you muted. I can't answer. So, <laughs> but I mean, I'll, I'll pop it in there anyway. Right. <laughs> Just to let them know that I'm, hey, I'm here. But, you know, but yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, right now, even the kids, I mean, we've I've had them kind of come and ask me a few questions this morning. I had one hanging off my arm saying, come upstairs. You know, it's it, it's tough, you know, when you when you have a family and, you know, you're trying to, you know, stream and yeah. uh, hold a day job at the same time. Yeah, it truly well, is a juggle. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. 
and and okay. I and I've, and I've told other streamers and I told other people as well. Um, your your family, your life comes first before streaming. Like until yeah. streaming is paying for ninety percent of your lifestyle, then yeah, you might want to stress out that your streaming is not, you know, whatever. But it's not. Yeah. So enjoy it. Streaming is a yeah. quote hobby at any yeah. level. At the point. Yeah. Um, I, I actually did a, I, I just did a YouTube survey about the different platforms. Uh, and I have a little bit of a beef with YouTube, even though I do like my YouTube channel and stuff, and I'm trying to get it to grow. It's just, I had a bit of a beef with them, with them changing the monetization rule requirements after I've already signed the agreement with them. And then they removed it with from it because it didn't make the uh, requirements. So of course, I'm not going to challenge them because they're just going to say, read the fine print, piss off. Um, but uh, <laughs> in that survey, I was able to voice my opinion on that because they did say, uh, why do you not think that uh, you weren't generating revenue, blah, 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 uh, with, this, with the amount of viewers you have or anything like that? Well, this is the reason why I wasn't getting any revenue from the ads anymore because you changed the minimum requirements from uh, 200 follow, uh, subscribers to 1,000 subscribers. So how is a small channel supposed to sustain uh, yeah. as you grow? Where on the other side, Facebook, they do have that minimum to get the, um, uh, with the level up program and stuff like that. But in the long run, you're not making anything from the ads on Facebook at all in the level up program. Facebook is. So when Facebook says, hey, I noticed you're playing Last of Us Part Two, and it is the game of the year uh, event. So I'm going to fake boost your viewership so I can get more money from you guys from the ads. That's what has happened on Facebook with a lot of people playing Last of Us Part Two, And those streamers are freaking out going, oh my God, I'm getting a ton more viewers. But it's actually Facebook over generating the algorithm to get you more viewers so they can make yeah. more money off the ads running on your stream oh, wow. uh, and stuff. And Twitch, I find Twitch is helping smaller streamers better uh, with, with that control of everything. So you could make, in theory, Twitch streaming kind of pay for itself, but you got to keep that mentality. It's a hobby, right? So uh, it's not your all-in lifestyle. This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I wouldn't worry about that until you hit partner because the requirements to maintain your partnership are going to be a lot stricter or a lot harder to maintain uh, than just making an affiliate, right? Um, but for all the people that are trying to make affiliates still that are watching this stream, um, Take your time. Um, the affiliate, you know, you can get affiliate in seven days if you do it correctly uh, as, as a brand new streamer. But don't stress out during your affiliation. The hardest part is that average viewers. But don't stream for long. Keep your stream short. If you got five people or less before that first hour, cut the stream. Start another stream the next day. Um, if you're five viewers up to fifteen viewers, uh, steady stream for two hours and then cut it. Uh, that will keep your average viewers up and growing faster, and then you'll hit your affiliation a lot quicker. The other way to help your affiliation, networking. Definitely jump yeah. into other people's yeah. streams, other people's uh, chats, chat with people. It is, It can be kind of hard for people that are more introverted, uh, where the I've had some people say, I've been in your chat. Yeah, all I saw you do is lurk, but you did not chat with anybody else in the chat. So yeah. how are you expecting anybody to pop over to your stream or remember that you were there, right? Um, so it does take some time. It does take some effort to build the networking because uh, you're building that relationship with those people in some way, to shape, or form. Uh, and then they will remember you and pop into your streams. Um, and the rewards will come back to you. Um, it's just you got to be patient about it. Now, I, would, and, I would piggyback that real quick yeah. to say as yeah. well, like... If you're gonna, if if you're aiming for affiliate, take your time. Yeah. Because there is yeah. there is no rush. If you want to do it in seven yeah. days, by all means, do it in seven yeah. days. But take your yeah. time because, yeah. look, I, I streamed for probably four months before I really started settling into the way things you know were going to appear. The way things. I mean, yeah. hell, I just got my background done a month ago. And yeah. I don't and I don't have the ability to do green screen. I could if I used a certain you know service but Fire. i'm not doing that so <laughs> i literally just set the background i just now i'm using a cam uh what seven months eight months into it 
So yeah, take your time. Take your yeah, time yeah, and I mean, learn it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you you when you start streaming, you don't know what to expect, what you're going to do, right? So you know, if you jump in feet first and you're affiliated in seven days, I mean, you're getting all these people coming right now. Now that you're affiliated, it's your job to keep them there. Yeah. Right. And if you're still not used to streaming or not comfortable behind the I camera, like you know, screen. <laughs> right. you know, green screen. don't mind this. <laughs> That's the green screen, Hulk green screen. But yeah, I, I agree with you there, Vincent, because a lot of people that hit that affiliation really quickly and all of a sudden yeah. their viewership just plateaus and then drops. Yeah. Right? yeah. They've hit the affiliation, but then they don't do anything to try to keep the momentum going or um like i will admit like my yesterday stream was probably the first stream i've had in a long time that was averaging in the single digits um just because i changed it up i played a game that's not typically mainstream type of a game and uh, i also streamed at a different time of the day just to kind of see what kind of viewers i still have at that yeah. time period because i don't yeah. normally stream early in the morning like vincent does i used to yeah. normally stream in the evenings after work when i got home uh but since i'm working from home i'm taking the advantage of streaming in that kind of midday early morning midday so i can get all the my uk viewers to say hey it's about fucking time you're streaming <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Uh, so do, do mind, you've yes. Got, you've got to learn. Oh. You've got to learn where <laughs> your it's your okay, for that. Calm down. Just, Calm down. <laughs> you're looking a little green, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. you, you got to learn where your community is coming from. Like right. like Rhino's just saying. Right. I mean, yeah. days and nights you switch it up. All of a sudden, your community is completely different. Um, That's right. Where I mean, like I said, I don't I don't stream until you know eight or nine p.m. on weekdays. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I'm going to be catching a lot of um, people that are either West Coast and I'm Central Time. I'm going to keep them either get a lot of West Coast or I. It's fun to watch since I do stream for anywhere from five to eight hours. The the timeline move. <laughs> so yeah. all of a sudden, there's just, some people will come in from like Asian markets, and here's the Australian markets, and then here comes the Euros that are pop, popping in when it's about five in the morning here, and I'm like, oh crap, I need to be in bed. <laughs> I've jumped into a few. Like I, I've I've jumped into dirty rats at the end, like at the end of my day, and it's like, hey, how you yeah. doing? Yeah, okay, I got to sign off. I'm done. And then I wake up in the morning. He's still freaking streaming. Uh, yeah. yeah. I say, hey, well, I mean, morning. What's going on? And I'm like, oh, I got to log off now. I'm done. Um, yeah. Like Lynette, like with the Australians, right? Like Lynette with, yeah. the, with the time difference, and and I think she only sleeps like maybe six hours every 48 hours of her being away. <laughs> Well, they, uh, they have to stay awake because the size of their abuse. spiders are like this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They fear for their oh, life yeah, on a daily basis. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, like yesterday, uh, like, or I mean last night, she was playing some Resident Evil 2. I jumped into stream and said hi to her. I'm like, yeah, Resident Evil 2, this is cool. I haven't seen this in a while. And I got up this morning. She's still playing Resident Evil 2. And <laughs> yeah. I did maybe a couple hours with Killer Dukes and Demorta in some Outwarriors this morning before this podcast. Lynette was still playing Resident Evil 2, and I guarantee yeah. it was maybe like four in the morning for her uh, the next day. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, definitely, uh, you, you got to pay attention to where your audience is as well, yeah. which works yeah. best for your you. Location, time zone. Location, yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. I, I also want to address something because a lot of people go, well, I don't play I don't play the biggest games, you know. I don't play don't Call of Duty or I don't yeah, play don't this game or that game. Yeah. You don't have to. be Play your games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have fun. Play your games. Grow your community. Network with people who play similar games or learn mm -hmm. new games. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I mean, it's 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 about what you want to do, and about how you can build your community around what what you're doing and what yeah. you want to show off. So, don't worry about the game yeah. you play. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's more important to focus on your community, right? That's that's the whole purpose. You know, they're they're coming there to watch you and. You know, I, I think another kind of word of advice would be to, you know, if you're always playing multiplayer games, you're always playing in a party, you know, try try streaming by yourself. Try to engage with your community a little bit, right? Because if you're if you're gaming with a party, you're more focused on your party than your chat. Uh, um, I'm going to say on most occasions, right? So try to try to keep your 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 community number one, and then yeah. your your party number two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also on that note as well, um, be careful when you're co-streaming because if you're Co-streaming is fine. Hook up with some people, play a game. You're co-streaming the same game and stuff like that. Uh, just be wary. 
Your other person you're co-streaming with might get more viewers or you might get more viewers. Um, try not to co-stream too many times at the same time because uh, your audience has to pick one or the other. Uh, some yeah. of them don't don't put up a ton of tabs. Uh, some of them do. Uh, but uh, just be careful on your co-streaming. Uh, I'm not saying don't do it. I like co-streaming with uh, a bunch of people and stuff. Uh, but I don't do it as often just because, as Vince has yeah. said, your channel it's your channel, right? You got to right, exactly. take care of your channel, your community. Um, the awesome thing about the communities that are out there, a lot of our cool communities are overlapping. Uh, so I've seen different faces coming from different communities popping in. And mm -hmm. I'm going to do a shout out to a bunch of them because, of course, we got our Twitch core community. I've got my Rhino community. We got the Infernal community. We got Jedi Bandits community. We got Dirty Rats community. We also have the Stingers in Australia. We also have the Froggy community, which I believe this. I think what Lynette's calling them. <laughs> uh, we have the Knights. We also have uh, Asgard's, uh, uh, the Asgard, uh, the Guardians of Asgard. Defenders. Uh, or the DOA. Defenders of Asgard. Defenders of Asgard. My apologies. Uh, we have them. Uh, we have the As One. Uh, we have the Hive as well. Um, so there's a lot of communities out there. You will see a bunch of people popping from different communities in. Get to yeah. know those people. Get to see and, and talk with those people because word of mouth is still the best advertising in the industry. Uh, also, first impressions or your channel's impressions also will affect your viewership too. So um, if you are playing multiplayer games and your party chat is swearing left, right, and center, yo, 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 and all a bunch of stuff and cranking music left, right, and center, that affects your channel as well. So be careful of those random people that you are uh, you are gaming with because it, yeah. it is your channel that you have to watch out for. Um, you will get a, a copyright strike for whatever music they're playing on their side. So careful mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get your viewers involved. Uh, yeah. Playing games like uh, so, yeah. Friday 13 Kids or Puzzles. Yeah, like Hawks Rising. Yeah. I'm going to pop yeah. that up on the screen here. Uh, Rhino, good idea to get your viewers involved in some of the games you're playing, such as Friday the 13th, <laughs> Killer Buzzer. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that the other day, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I've been trying to do that with marbles. So some exactly. Sundays I'm trying to do these community things. And yeah. You know, Very I'm nice. trying to figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, so any any community games that you guys think will go well with your community, try them out. See how it works. Because uh, we have, I've popped into a few of the the, the marbles ones with Vincent. Uh, I know there's mm -hmm. some people playing Among Us, partied up with a bunch of people. Um, yeah. Phasmophobia, uh, that's another one uh, that I've seen people play. Uh, by the way, uh, have you ever watched Lizzie Bumblebee play Phasmophobia? Have you guys yes. seen it? And, yeah, and, and I, I think that she's supposed to be wearing depends while she plays. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, she managed to take a pitch. She took a picture of one of the ghost in one of the area and she got a great picture of it. She bowled over psycho, uh, which is the other streamer that she was playing with. She ran over that character running right out of the house. <laughs> Just screaming. Like I got it. I got it. I got it. It's right behind me. Get the fuck out. But yeah. I think, I think if she continues to play that, she's going to need to take out stock and in, uh, in defense because no as much as she's in there screaming about, I, you know, she's pooping herself. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Not my stream. Not my stream. Not my stream. <laughs> Uh, any anything else in the chat, you guys? Don't don't be shy. Everybody in the chat, feel free to drop in a question about streaming or gaming. Feel free. Uh, one of us will grab it. Uh, one of us will say the question. Uh, and again, uh, for my hosts, if you see anything you want to think that's a good question, go for it. Pop it up on the screen, or or not pop it on the screen, but at least pop it up in so we can get the chatting going of it. And uh, so we we try not to miss any questions in any way, shape, or form. Um, Amen. Duties here. Yeah. I think we had a question pop in, and I think Jedi put it in our chat here. Yeah, uh, that was Usually actually submitted average. very early on from Smurfette, um, and it just maybe it's something we just wanted to quickly address. And it's because sure. it's because it kind of points to community and and like why we are here. And it was basically the question is essentially uh, where was it at? It was something around the lines of uh, what basically got you into. Streaming. streaming yeah basically what what was the reason why you started streaming i think is more or less what the question was and for me yeah um it was because i'm playing games with a lot of friends and there's times when we have funny moments and you never get to catch them 
And because you never have, you know, that clip thing, you can never just get it ready, get it at the right time. So, you know, you just live stream it all. You can get it all. You can go back to it, get your funny clips. You know, you can take them to YouTube or whatever and advertise yourself uh, on another platform as well. So you can start growing in other areas. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, mine as a kind of, I kind of put it in chat is that, uh, because of the hours that I do play, because I, I'm a night owl. I mean, I work from 9am to 6pm basically every day. And, but I only require like four or five hours sleep. So I usually hop in from my streams, like I said, eight or 9pm. And most of the people that I, as far as my friends, like personally, um, you know, through the years, they all have like early morning jobs where they have to be up at like four, three and four and 5 a.m. And so they don't get to, you know, spend the nights playing games with me. So I was like, man, I want to find more people to play games with. And like going just straight through just playing the game and trying to talk to people in game is horrible. So I was like, I started watching a bunch of streamers and it eventually, eventually I was like, I think I can do this. And I think It'd be fun. I think it'd be a heck of a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much work it would be, but <laughs> but that's also <laughs> there is some part work. of the fun yeah. uh, as well as really, really, because I, I love diving into a lot of technology and trying to figure these things out. Uh, like right now, I'm trying to teach myself editing. Um, so like I said, there's a lot to do uh, to really if 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 you want to make it a big thing you there's a lot to do that'll help you move those things move those bars but in the end it was just about i'd like to find some more people to to play games with that's what really brought me to it and um and i've done that i've found like i now game with people from australia to uh, asia to europe to all over the u.s and well we'll mention canada for these three (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> that case. Sorry. Go <laughs> <No>, south. <laughs> no, that is a good good thing too. Like networking with people from other you know continents from you and getting to play games with them. That's that's just an added benefit. You know, getting to meet people from other areas, yeah. <laughs> like the south. <laughs> Out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Evolving Shadows is put in. Uh, does anybody have a good link or setting up a party audio in OBS uh, so everyone can be heard a balanced of volumes? Uh, any suggestions on any way to go? I know there's a, I can't remember the guy right now. There is a guy on YouTube that does a ton of a ton of videos of how to set up OBS uh, for st- and and for anything. And I know he does a complete thing on audio. I'm trying to remember the guy's name. And if I do, I will try to get the link and prop it in. Um, and, or I'll send it directly to you, uh, Evolving Shadows, when I find it. But that is a good question. If you guys have any, any ideas, because I know we have a couple of audio people in here. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally just use Discord, and if my chat's telling me that somebody is quiet, I try to turn them up on Discord. That's all I really do. I don't really use anything else other than Discord. Discord. Incinerator yeah, probably has a better idea. OBS, just, OBS yeah. doesn't really have the tools for multiple people at one time. It's it's an all or one bar on there. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't I don't have a solution. Um, because I don't play too many online games with people. Uh, the times that I have played, I've got my OBS audio and I've got a wireless headset that's hooked into my PlayStation with PlayStation group chat. So, um, I mean, Discord, I think, is the way to go if you can get it set up and running. But it's, yeah. not, it's, not, running, it's not up and running on my setup yet, so... All right. Yeah, yeah. and that. I do, and I do yeah. Discord, and of course I have a virtual cable to bring my Discord into my streams, uh, mm-hmm. so that I keep that separate from my my own microphone and stuff. So, um, so I can control me as universally as far as my tone, but uh, my Discord has the ability to anybody that's coming in that I'm partying with. Um, that I actually can adjust them as Jedi was saying, I can adjust each person individually in discord. Yeah. And I can also adjust discord sound manually in my OBS for overall sound. Mm-hmm. But, um, but that's easy on a PC side on when you're streaming from like a console. console. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to be basically putting, if you're, if you're co-streaming with people and you're getting into a discord, then you're going to have to have that on your secondary there, your PC or something that you may be capture, you know, running a capture card over to because it's it's the only way to control. And for me personally, when I do games like Call of Duty, 
I turn off in-game sounds. I just don't even, I have no intent of hearing anybody else talking about, except for the people that I'm playing with. Uh, yeah. So, and then like I said, those people are usually going to be in discord with me because I hate the in-game audio. In-game audio is trash almost in all games. And it's especially can be trashy when you're doing like a, um, a, uh, a co-play with, uh, you know, somebody who's in PC and somebody who is in uh, Xbox or, or PlayStation because, they're trying to communicate through that PlayStation network or the Xbox chat and it is cracking and it is breaking up and it can be a major problem. So again, discord is just the way to go. I think it's really the only answer right now, but you're going to have to be looking at a capture card and a, and a setting up your audio to control it through there. So I know, um, the Agato wave, uh, mics come with a a proprietary software that only works with that hardware, which actually Mm -hmm. grabs all audio on the PC, all audio inputs, and you can set up a mixer, like a virtual mixer, where you determine what your stream hears and what you hear can be completely different. Um, Even like you can have actual music going through your own earphones where your stream doesn't hear any of that music. Um, I'm not sure. Does NVIDIA Broadcast does that as well? Does it? So Uh, NVIDIA Broadcast has like microphone, like noise removal. And as of right now, that's that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm bringing NVIDIA Broadcast into the way like Elgato Wavelink software is a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Yeah. Because you you can't. I mean, the Wave microphone does have zero latency, which is fine. But if you want to run that wave microphone through NVIDIA Broadcast, you have to create a new source. Mm-hmm. And that then creates an 85 millisecond latency, which you need to go back then into your OBS and create, you know, uh, readjust that audio sync. Um, but I'm using the Wave 3 microphone. That's what I'm running on right now. And I have, I think, five or five different audio sources going right now. Yeah. You know, one for my microphone. I got one for, for my game, which is coming from my... Uh, Elgato capture card, so everything routes through there. I've got another one set up for running like stream beats, background music off of YouTube music, so I can you know play <laughs> and mute that. And then you know I, I've got another one just for a different browser if I want to you know run some sort of a video through a just chatting session. So yeah. I mean, it is very powerful software. It does complicate your setups a little bit. But um, I mean, having it allows me to have my volume as loud as I want and not blow everybody's ears out on on the audience's end. So and- Evolving Shadows, if you're still there, I'm going to whisper you a link, a video, uh, once I find the YouTube channel. Um, uh, he, this, this guy goes through all settings in, in OBS Studio on how to set stuff up for Twitch, YouTube, and stuff like that, audio, uh, a bunch of things. It, 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 he's really, really good. And he also gives you uh, different reasons why he suggests those settings depending on your setup as well. So I'll, I'll find that link and I'll pop that up. I will also drop the link... Um, because I'll be uploading this uh, podcast to my YouTube channel at the end. So I will also drop the link in the comments or in the description there uh, as well uh, and, and some other stuff. Uh, I might also put direct links to all these games that we talked about as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, Smurfette had an interesting uh, one as well. Do any of you... Um, yeah, do any of you have community challenge point challenges or do you, have you ever done one for your channels? So I've played with the possibility of actually doing one, but I haven't found something that I've been like wanting my community to work towards just yet. So I, I've been trying to think of something that would be a good goal. Um, I guess that's what it ultimately comes down to is what uh, your community wants to see from your channel. Yeah. Um, right. The only, the only one that I have is the one that Twitch has invited me to as the, the, the beta test which is the the Boost This Stream community challenge. So Twitch has invited my channel to be part of that closed beta, which is a new feature that's going to come to all Twitch members uh, once it fully comes out. I have not seen anything yet about it being released. Um, but basically, it is a community challenge. Once it gets active, then uh, your community spends uh, channel points to redeem to get the stream boost. Once the stream challenge is boosted, then uh, Twitch boosts your stream uh, to different parts of the Twitch platform to get you more viewership or more visibility uh, to your stream. Um, in your cha- uh, in your um, um, 
analytics on your dashboard, there is an area called, uh, I think, promotional clicks and promotional something. Uh, you can switch to that and see if that promotional challenge actually brought you any um, uh, traffic or not. Um, so um, it's worked for me a few times. I've seen uh, I've seen new faces pop in from the boost. Um, it is an interesting challenge. Uh, I know some other people. Um, put up a community challenge with their points for doing uh, 18 hour streams or 24 hour streams yeah. or, and stuff like that. I've seen that being done. Um, other than that, uh, experiment, check out other people's streams that are doing those challenges and see if it's something that you would like to do uh, on your stream and, and check it out. Um, yeah. But other than that, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally haven't run any of those community challenges on my end. I mean, yeah. the only things I run are my follower goals, sub goals, and I've got that bo boss hype thing that's on my channel. That yeah. uh, And the channel points, know. I've been trying to find out what to do for the channel points for my channel. So um, right. I only got one there, Guide the Raid, right? And I've got uh, yeah. another one there. If you, if you cash in that amount, uh, I will go to your channel and I'll gift sub 10. 10 subs on your channel. If you yeah. catch in, I think I uh, was at a hundred thousand uh, rhino points, hundred K you got it there. Yeah. yeah. So, um, nice by it. the way, I did cash one of those. Somebody did cash theirs in. So nice. somebody hit a hundred K on my channel for channel points. Well, I'm at, nice. I'm at 40 plus and on my way right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 40 plus. Reese has already spent 10 K occasionally cause he's guided the raid a couple of times already. So he's, he's, he's losing some of his points right there. Um, um, I did want to point out real quick, kind yeah. of a, uh, one of the evolving shadows before we jump in, I, I know we want to talk about, uh, um, Smurfette's question, but Evolving Shadows also asked uh, about the virtual cable that uh, Jedi mentioned, and I yeah. use one as well, and you can find those virtual cables pretty much online anywhere. I mean, there's several download links you can get for free, um, and it's a pretty simple setup. I don't know if uh, if, if any of y'all have actually, I'm, I'm guessing, Jedi, you've used one pretty well if you've got a multiple the, the multiple outputs that you've got. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. But uh, but they're yeah. pretty accessible across the board. There's several that you can download, but um, th but they're pretty simple to use, and you just basically have to route your sound th you through OBS by setting up a another uh, sound source, and essentially you can yeah. route it right through there. That's what I do with my Discord and Game Sound. I have them just on the same level, so I route them through that VB cable, and my mic is set separately, so I have all my inputs to control individually. Yeah, yeah, and it's, that's essentially what the Elgato Wavelink does as well. If you if you decide you want a microphone, mm -hmm. voice mod works yeah. pretty nice because you can you have the soundboard and then you can change your voice to you know really whatever you want. And on top of that, it gives you some adjustability to what you want to do. So then it comes in as uh, if you want your alerts to come through as on your mic, you can do that, which makes it kind of easier. So if I was in here and I wanted to play a sound alert with these guys while we're talking i could i could do that and they don't have to hear my output basically that's cool right yeah right. i'm on a my mic is a blue yeti so i'm using that puppy right there blue yeti that's okay my mic right now and and this is one of those things that's also is about like how your your equipment when you start out blue yeti wave three what do you have jedi yeah. uh i've got a Fee fine, it's good. It's oh, the off fee, Amazon. Yeah, the fee fine. Okay, yeah, fee which fine. is which I've heard is a really is a great microphone. It's great. Uh, it's yeah. a great cost effective microphone too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on oh, a headset. Even, even, even for equipment, cost effective. Like my camera before I upgraded my camera, um, I'll show you. It's right there. Oh yeah, that is not yeah. a razor camera, by the way. It is a knockoff yeah. of a knockoff. Like you can actually see <laughs> the glue <laughs> on the sensor <laughs> button right there. Like you can yeah, actually yep. move, but this thing did uh, uh, 720p. See, easy. Here you go, right? I spent fifteen dollars on this sucker. Yeah, right, <laughs> Rhino. You, you you can set that up as a cat cam. A cat yeah, cam. There yeah. <laughs> There's a channel point redemption for you. That's right. If I ever left, if I ever left my house, I might be able to do the same thing. You know, yeah. He's right here. <laughs> but uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's like I'm on a headset mic, standard Logitech 933 headset mic, and I keep debating on whether or not I want to buy a mic because I feel like, and everybody tells me, this is clear. Uh, but it's up to you as far as you know setting up those things and again figuring out how you want to work with it. But awesome. uh, 
but also you are mostly a PC gamer. So the microphone right. on your headset works beautifully with your setup on a console for PlayStation. I know this for a fact um, to get the, my stream to hear me. I can't use my headset mic. I need a separate mic for that stream setup. This yeah. way, the separate mic uh, or my, my headset mic on my Astros, my party chat hears me perfectly fine. The party chat, the stream hears it perfectly fine, but my stream won't hear me through my own party chat. It's just the way the console works for that audio. Um, so that's why I have the external mic basically for the stream to hear me. Um, that's the only reason, basically. Uh, if I was PC gaming, I wouldn't need the third-party mic at all because I would do the same setup as you're doing. Uh, I would just use the one mic for everything. But again, it all depends on your setup and what you're trying to do. And if you don't care about your party chat on consoles, then don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just yeah. use the mic that you want to use and turn off party chat so nobody hears you in the stream. That is purely up to you uh, how you want to set that up. Uh, and again, Use what you've got. Uh, you don't need the bells and whistles to be up and streaming. Uh, and upgrade when you can and when you're able to. Now, just remember, if you're upgrading from directly streaming from the console to now using a capture card, uh, PC, overlays, and all that other, all the bells and whistles, remember, more things can go wrong now during your stream. So be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. All right there, Vincent. Mr. Uh, Vincent or Blackout. <laughs> no, no. If, there, if there's I, not I an really issue, streaming? <laughs> really That's right. Yeah, yeah. If you're not learning, you're, you're, what's yeah. the point? What's the yeah. point? Yeah. Well, but anyway, just be prepared. That's all I'm saying that. Because I know, I know some people, you know, they're, the, they, they think that they need the bells and whistles. You don't. Uh, it's the game. It's you chatting with the chat. Uh, that's what people are coming here to see. Um, but if you can upgrade and if you can go that direction and you want to go that direction, just remember, like more things could go wrong and uh, don't stress out when it does go wrong. Um, just if you can't figure it out, just turn your stream off, fix what you need to do, start up another stream or just push the stream over to the next day. Um, like when I got my PS5, I needed my HDMI audio splitter to go back to my original setting to stream through my capture card to get all the audio because um, the PS5 does not have an optical out for my setup. So I used the PS5's broadcasting tool for a week until I got my audio splitter. And I will admit the PS5's broadcasting tool was excellent. It was an excellent stream. Uh, the quality was good. I saw the chat. Uh, I also had my stream and my my PC is right beside me, so I had the, the stream manager open so I can see the, the Twitch chat better and interact with the Twitch chat. But other than that, uh, it was it was it worked very well. Yeah, no, hey, you there's had some cat smooth. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Cat cam. Get a cat. cat cam, yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I still have one sleeping in the back uh, right yeah. behind me yeah. there. It's still there. My main coon is right there. Big um, fluffy ball. Um, all right, so we're getting towards the end. Uh, anybody that's in the chat that's a streamer and stuff like that, I would suggest you guys get your streams up and going because uh, we are going to try to pick a random streamer uh, within the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so uh, and trying to wrap things up. Uh, if there's anything else in the chat that we should cover or anything like that, uh, feel free to pluck them out of the chat and get those questions in or chat in. If there's any other comments or anything else that you want to talk about, uh, feel free. And again, to everybody, I have been watching my um, my my active feed. I want to thank everybody that's been dropping bits, all the new subscriptions, uh, the renewal subscriptions, a uh, couple of followers, uh, and a few other things that have been popping in and out. Thank you very much. Uh, greatly appreciated. It's in this type of chat format, I turned off all those alerts and stuff just so it's easier to for us to talk to you guys without a bunch of alerts banging in the background and all that. But I want to thank each and every one of you that has contributed today uh, for the stream. So thank you very much uh, for that. Um, oh, local Pascato Gaming has been popping in and out. What is going on, Eddie? <laughs> yeah, right, Eddie, what's going on, Loco? Uh, I think I do want to kind of... Eddie, on, get your uh, stream up. <laughs> right. 
I think I do want to touch on a couple of uh, last other questions that yeah, came oh, in. Oh, um, yes, yes, yes. One of which was Smurfette's question in regard yeah. to I think it was Smurfette, and it's a very good question. It's definitely one that uh, that's going to take some some time to get used to. But she was talking about how do you deal with the trolls and bots and things like that. Yeah, that actually that's good. That's a good one. Channel. I know I know that several people have had some recent issues. Um, you know, of course, I, uh, I just watched a, a nice video the other day. Uh, that's actually came through Pipeline GG. I don't know if you want to push that, but it was uh, Musa, who's a, a European streamer, who uh, was giving a bunch of details on uh, different bots you can run to help you control. But you just want you want to keep that <coughs> limited. You don't want to you don't want a ton of bots in your system, you know, showing that you've got a lot of uh, things there because they. I've heard that. Uh, Twitch, when you actually are looking to upgrade into affiliate and or eventually into partner with them, they don't like bots. No, for some reason, no, yeah, they, don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they do not like it. Not a um, <laughs> like I'm trying to control my stuff because you can't. But okay, fine. <laughs> uh, but uh, but definitely, as far as trolls go, it, 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 look, it, I love them. Come at me. <laughs> I, please give me something to talk about but everybody's got to deal with them in their own way and and yeah. i will absolutely give trolls a time the time of day um yeah. but you can also if, if somebody's pestering you if somebody's being that kind of person and you don't want them there ban hammer yeah. but yeah. Ban him, yeah. i like uh, but i like to mess with them because i'm i'm just a really nice person that likes to you know <laughs> Have, some have fun, a good right? conversation. Yeah, yeah, have a good it's, conversation. They're entertaining. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. I love when the warranty people call my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like when uh, Microsoft tries to call me and tell me I have PC issues. Yeah. Uh, oh, do, oh, oh, do I have fun yeah. with them? <laughs> or, <laughs> I've had, the, I've had the people uh, for duck cleaning and stuff like that call me out of the blue. It's like, yeah, we're 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 just contacting you uh, to set up the appointment for duck cleaning. I'm like, where did you get this phone number from? And they're like, click. Yep. So I phoned them back. I said, what kind of customer support is that if you hang up on me? Like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has seen it because it's, it's a movie, but the movie called Boiler Room with Giovanni yeah. Ribisi. And yeah. in, in yeah. that movie, he's learned how to become a salesperson. And in the in the movie, he's sitting there having breakfast one day when somebody from one of the new, local you know, New York newspapers calls him up and he gives them a what for. So if you haven't <laughs> seen that, you can probably look it up online as far as the clip uh, from the Boiler Room with the uh, yeah. The sales clip and uh it's it's a great movie but that's me is i'm when people call me and they're, they're telemarketers i'm gonna have a good time yeah, so, yeah there, there's, same with the trolls. so there's one little streaming product that i want to uh, uh show everybody on and i'm just gonna pop it up on screen here um this is called stream ladder if you want to uh take any of your clips from your twitch or YouTube or whatever you stream and clip your stuff on on the platform. You can use this website. It's completely free. Um, you just need you can upload the URL from the clip wherever it's stored or upload it from your uh, computer uh, to the site. Uh, pick the format you want. Pick where you want your camera. Pick the game footage you want, and it will output you a, a social media friendly vertical layout for TikTok and Instagram and whatever else you want to do. So uh, check it out if you want to start putting up. Uh, uh, stuff up there and catch up to Vincent on TikTok because I, I hear he's got a bunch of followers there now. Um, yeah. And uh, try it out. And uh, it's completely free. It seems to work fairly well. And uh, um, I do recommend uh, if you want to do that instead of, uh, especially if you're not a video editing person, uh, this is really easy to use. Um, so just do your clip in, in Twitch, clip the outfit, and the, uh, clip what you want from your stream. Uh, make sure make sure you are ready because uh, I believe TikTok is, what, one minute, right? 60? 60, 60. Yeah, 60 seconds. So it used yeah. to be 30 Max. seconds. Yeah. yeah, so definitely check it out. Do that and uh, have some fun with your TikTok uh, uh, and Instagram uh, stories or whatever you want to do with those videos. You can do that as well. Um, I'm take, keeping an eye on some people that are in, in the chat. I see some of the streamers already on, so I'm keeping an eye out for that. Uh, is there anything else that we should uh, cover? Any uh, Anything else that we come through? I think we, we had one question. I think yeah. we had one question that was actually from uh, Uniquely Average Gaming, and it All was right. uh, uh, one that's going to vary in, in answers as well, I think, and it's what should your resolution be on your stream? Yeah. Okay, so All that right. will de depend on your equipment as well. Uh, yeah, of what you can actually much. output. Uh, 
And I know that could have came out completely different, but I'm not going to go there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but basically, uh, depending no on comment. The, yeah, depending yeah. <laughs> on your, uh, the, how you're capturing your video uh, from whatever you're playing on, whether if it's on a PC, PC, or uh, console to PC, um, for in the long run, I think the best thing to do is to keep your gaming PC and your streaming console or streaming PC separate. But if your machine can handle it, go nuts. But whatever you're seeing is the high quality, um, that is okay. Uh, what you want to stream out is not that high quality, uh, uh, high, high, high end, because then you'll start getting frame rate drops and other issues because your internet has to has to bring that information back and forth through the broadcasting tools, uh, through Twitch and all that. Um, there is a chart uh, that Twitch has for um, software-based encoding and hardware-based encoding of what you should do depending on your, your setup and stuff. I will add it to the description of this podcast on YouTube as well, so you can check out that chart. It's directly from Twitch. Uh, but basically, um, what I used to do, uh, I used to have high end on my monitor for so I can see the game in the best quality. But I used to stream out at 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. At, at uh, uh, I used to do it at 3000 uh, bit rate, but I was able to crank it up to 5000 bit rate and still be pretty good uh, with things. But with my new machine that I have for streaming, I now output at, um, I think it's... 1980 or 1960 by 1080 at 60 frames per second at 8,000 bit rate. And I have not had any frame rate drops or anything like that. Definitely your output should be a lot lower than you, what you actually are gaming on or what you're seeing um, and what your equipment can handle. Uh, but I will add that chart to the description of the video when I uploaded it um, to uh, YouTube. Um, but do play around. Um, if you start getting a lots of of drops and you're set at a lower rate, you might want to look at your hardware or you might want to check your internet speeds. You're up and down for that and see yeah. if anybody's streaming Netflix while you're streaming. <laughs> right, that's right, yeah. That's your pipeline. Yeah, your, your bit rate's dependent on your, your upload speed exactly. for the most part, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah I would cool. say if you can do 1080p, 60 frames, that's probably a good spot to aim for for yeah. general yeah. things. Well, I'll yeah, even but... I'll even jump in on that one to say you know because of because my computer right now uh, currently is um, on the little bit on the lower end of uh, of the spectrum there, uh, and what I'm able to push and I do a single stream and and push uh, sh uh, stream and game setup right now until I actually move to a two which will hopefully be at the end of April, but um, so because of that I can't push a a high signal if you will so. My stream is the 720 by 30 frames per second. Uh, everything still comes through clear um, because, I mean, my computer can push that just fine. But if I try to push it to a 60 bit or 60 frames, I'm going to have drop frames constantly. And you won't do this frame. It'll skip horribly worse than a scratch CD, uh, if anybody <laughs> knows what that is anymore. <laughs> worse than a CD and a Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad right there. <laughs> I know I know A track, so I know that as well. <laughs> I, I had a I, first first vehicle I grew up in had an A track in it. So yep. Yeah. Quickly moved to, to tape cassette, but yeah. Yeah, tape cassette. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 as it was, as was said, it's entirely up to what your system can push and mm -hmm. what it, what you feel comfortable with. That is something that, you know, again, that's one of those things that you're gonna have to test. I didn't realize sixty yeah. frames was not working for me for the first couple of days, my first stream. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's that bad. Holy crap. So also, also to in consideration there, if you are streaming on Facebook and you're not part of the uh, level up program, you're also re you're re reduced to a certain output of your uh, stream until you uh, hit, uh, yeah, until you become a level up program and you hit a requirement, then you can do 1080p. <laughs> Um, so do check your platform on what you can and cannot do as well. Um, but I know I'll, uh, yep. I will post the Twitch chart of software based encoding and hardware based. If you got a cool, uh, GPU or whatever like that, um, that you can follow that chart, uh, for best practices of, uh, of outputting your video quality. And again, um, if you got people watching, uh, Netflix while you're streaming, kick them off Netflix, like just, 
just block it on the firewall. So nobody can stream on the sure. <laughs> Netflix is really bad though. Netflix is quite bad on your connection. Oh yeah, it's Netflix. You, you want to you want to know what's messed up about that? Is that I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's where I'm at. Maybe it's my mm-hmm. provider. Maybe it's connection. I watch Netflix while streaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. I literally have my big screen over there. I can t- actually turn on and I'll watch a TV show. Mm-hmm. And and because Netflix technically is only going to use about ten to fourteen or maybe ten to fifteen, uh, maybe a max of twenty of your uh, you know, megabits, mm-hmm. if you will. So. Um, yeah. it's limited. So if your connection speeds can do it, then by all means, but yeah. you know, you, I'm, I'm, you, running four, I'm running a 400 megabit. Yeah. I think somebody, I think Vince, I think you said you're running the gigabit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm I running for streaming, well. so. for, for streaming, it all comes down to your upload, right? I mean, you're not, yeah. you're not downloading anything. So, um, right. But don't forget if you're playing an online game, you're downloading oh, okay. at the same yeah. time as you're playing, uploading your stream. Yeah. So that yeah. does affect your pipeline as well. So that's true. When you're playing no, I, and all that, <laughs> you've got to get all that information from all the other bad internet connections to give you to get into you, right? <laughs> so there's, there's, there's there's bad internet connections will knock your game out. <laughs> it's a reason why I don't play online games. It's it's yeah. becoming more and more evident as we talk about it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up to there. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, that jumped into the chat, and again, all the bits, all the subs, and all that. You guys are absolutely awesome. This is why one of the as the question that we had earlier, one of the main reasons why I stream is the community. Um, it's yeah. helping me to talk to you guys. It's helping me enjoy the community as best as possible. Um, so that is absolutely awesome. Uh, I do have somebody that we're going to rate because uh, he is looking for affiliation, by the way, and he's only got one viewer right now. One, one viewer. viewer. Well, and he's got 171 going? followers. And he's only got one viewer. Um, so That's we good. are going to help him. Uh, actually, this is a channel that I kind of took under my wing uh last week um he asked for some help so i kind of took him under the wing we got him past the the 50 followers we got him past 100 followers he's at 171 now now he just needs the average viewers uh he's a great guy and stuff like that so we're going to help him out so i want everybody in the chat to do that uh, like stay in stay in for at least three minutes say hi to him do all the uh, the emotes, all that fun jazz, and all that stuff. Uh, bear with him; his mic either be on, might be on, might be off. Just to let you know because he's having some mic issues uh, apparently. And again, uh, to my co-hosts today, thank you very much for being a part of this podcast. Uh, we we will be uh, sending invites again for future podcasts uh, for sure. And uh, I'm going to set this rate up. So if you guys want to chit chat to everybody else, uh, say yeah. your uh, say your plugs to your channels, by all means, go ahead. Because we got the incinerator, we got the Jedi Bandit, we got the Dirty Rat in the house. And uh, definitely check out their channels. If you're not, we're going to send Dirty Rat after you because he, you know what he's, 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 he's got his Hulk gloves. So he's got his Hulk hands, he's going to come right <laughs> Well, right. the Hulk rat is coming for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, thanks for having me all on the podcast. It was a lot of fun, and I'll definitely be checking out more of them and be hanging with you guys, be checking out Dirty Rat when he's playing Hood, see what he's playing. Yeah, if the, if the Hood is good there, Dirty Rat, uh, I I will jump into it if it plays well. I want your opinion I'm on looking, it. I'm, so I'm going to wait until you, you I'm play just, the I'm game. Dying, I am dying for a game to play and i am like everything it seems right now is just it's just so delayed and so slowed out right now i am dying for a good game to play so <laughs> yeah definitely keep us a good new game yeah so absolutely out for road, dirty rat. all right you know so the raid is in effect we have got uh looks like we're gonna do 30 plus viewers for this raid to hawks rising so again, thank you, everybody. Awesome. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next uh, episode, episode four, hopefully next month. And uh, again, uh, stay safe out there and happy gaming. Let's go, Ray. All right, let's go.